Hey everybody, uh, YouTube, Clemson University. I'd like to um, start off by saying I'm Chris. And um, I just got done watching Chimamanda's video, uh, The Danger of the Single Story. And, you know, I just want to start off by saying, you know, wow, way to put it. Great job. I, uh, I, was, I was watching. I just wanted to go ahead and start off saying, you know, look at what she did. She, she told this story as a multiple story. She didn't just tell the story a single story. And, and what I mean by that is she showed us so many different views that it's not just her view. It's not just the African's view of it. It's not just an upset person because she is being discriminated upon. She even says that she discriminates. She shows it as a unbiased, neutral station which the train just rolls through from all directions. So, with that being said, I, um, you know, I thought, I thought, what a wonderful job she she said, and I, I like how she um she talked about the single story being used against her people, against Africa, you know, the the unauthentic African books that she writes because she doesn't know what African literature is. She said she grew up. She grew up reading, her, when she said she started reading at four years old. I wish I started reading at four years old. But she said she started reading at four years old. And you know what she was reading in the middle of Nigeria? She was reading American stories. Blue-eyed, blonde-haired, playing in the snow, eating apples. What does she eat? Mangoes. Is there snow in Nigeria? No. But when she started writing, she wrote stories like that because that's all she had read. That's all she knew. She thought that literature had to be what they portrayed it as, American Western literature. So when, when that happens is what she's talking about. And, you know, I really liked how... Even though she talked about how it happens against Africa, she talked about how she, even she, even how she herself has, has done this, has, has, has told a single story. You know, one story, single story, that all people, an American can, can, can you know, relate to and know, is immigration and the Mexicans. The story between those. A single story right there. Most of the time when you hear the word immigration, you think of Texas, you think of these pile-ups in cars, you think of guys jumping the border, border patrol, I mean, Discovery Channel or whatever has a, has a show called Border Police. Well, if that doesn't make Mexico look bad, then I don't know what does. And like she talked about, and she's guilty of it. I mean, she said her roommate, all she thought her, all her roommate knew was how poor they were. You know? No. You know, she talked about, she talked about how um, her family had this, this, this helper boy or servant boy. And how they, his, her, how her mom always told her that this boy was poor. His family was poor. So that's all she heard over and over was this family was poor. Well, she put in her mind poor. That was it. Nobody told her anything else. Nobody told her any good things about this family. So she finally goes and meets the family. And the little boy's brother has made this beautiful bowl basket with just these intricate designs and just these beautiful, beautiful things to it. And she just thought, wow, that's not poor. That's of value. She thought because they were poor, they were nothing more. She had that one story. She had that one story about this family and that it was, that was all there was. And, you know, I mean, this happens. And in my experience at Clemson, this happens. I mean... To, to think about it, white is the minority in the world. And there are more poor people in the world than there are rich people. 
And to think that, I mean, everyone here at Clemson University is privileged. They all, everyone is, you know, it's very high academic standards. Um, it's not free. So everyone here is, for the most part, pretty well off, has a good head on their shoulders. But that doesn't eliminate diversity. Diversity doesn't have to be negative. Within this school, we have people, we have amazing people, myself included. No, no. We have, but we do, we have amazing people. And it's all because of diversity. You have so many different cultures, so many different things coming together, a melting pot, to make this Clemson family what it is. And I just see that every day when I meet new people, people who have different religions than I do, people who have different traditions than I do, people who have different beliefs, people who have different political beliefs, people who have, it's all about diversity in this world. Because if we were all the same, what innovation would happen? If we all got up at 8 o'clock and we all went to school and then we came home and then we worked from this time to this time. And when everybody had the same schedule and nobody did anything differently than anybody else, nothing would happen. It would be, it'd be boring. You know, talking more about how this helps my experience at Clemson, I think that having this new student dialogue really, really does brighten the spectrum introduce you to that understanding that it's acceptable to be different it's okay to not be like everybody else you come here to be you you come here to be who you are you go to college to make your life where you're supposed to go and you don't have to fit in with everybody else you don't and that, I think, is the single story. That nobody should write their single story and follow that single story. To think how that single story can be written and you can just see that the majority of people will try to live by that story that their, their culture is written, their culture is given. But you don't have to. And you see where those who excel the most are those who have stepped out from their single story. Which, what, or, you know, the single story being the stereotype. And making themselves their own story. Making their own story for themselves. You know, I... um. I, I just I watched this video, and it, it opened my eyes to the point that she was talking about. Somebody has needed to just step up and say this, that, you know, just because we are different doesn't mean that we aren't all wonderful and great. Just because you don't have money... Does it mean you aren't special? Does it mean you don't have everything that you need? And that's where the world needs to head. In a direction where people who see that single story need to write a new story. I think the world would be a better place if the single story was gone. And you just saw the story for how it's really written. And that is a world that I want to live in. Thank you, Clemson. Thank you, YouTube. Y'all take care.